Students, hope you are doing well. Today we will discuss about questions answers of chapter 4 that is heat. So first question is state similarities and differences between the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer. Answer similarities between the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer are first point both consist of a long narrow uniform glass tube. Second point both have bulb at one end. Now, differences between the laboratory thermometer and the clinical thermometer. For differences, you have to draw two columns. In first column, you have to write all the points for clinical thermometer. In second column, you have to write all the points for laboratory thermometer. So, first point for clinical thermometer is temperature range is 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. For laboratory thermometer, Temperature range is minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Now second point for clinical thermometer is used for human beings. For laboratory thermometer, used for the experiment. Now third point for clinical thermometer is ink is present. For laboratory thermometer, ink is not present. Now question number two. Give two examples each of conductors and insulators of it. Answer. Two examples of conductors are copper and iron. Now two examples of insulators are wood and plastic. Now question number three, fill in the blanks. First fill in the blanks is the hotness of an object is determined by its gas. Answer temperature. Now second fill in the blanks is temperature of boiling water cannot be measured by a dash thermometer. Answer clinical. Now next fill in the blanks. Temperature is measured in degree dash. Answer Celsius. Now next fill in the blanks. No medium is required for transfer of heat by the process of dash. Answer Radiation. Now next fill in the blanks. A cold steel spoon is dipped in a cup of hot milk. Heat is transferred to its other end by the process of dash. Answer Conduction. Now next fill in the blanks. Clothes of dash colors absorb more heat better than clothes of light colors. Answer dark. Now question number four. Match the following. In column one, there are statements. In column two, there are terms. So you have to match terms for a statement. First statement is land bridge blows during. Second statement, sea bridge blows during. Third statement, dark colored clothes are preferred during. Fourth statement, light colored clothes are preferred during. Now terms are. First term, summer, second term, winter, third term, day, and fourth term, night. Now answer. There is one instruction. Always write correct option in front of the question. So for a statement, land breeze blows during, answer will be night. Next statement, sea breeze blows during, answer will be day. Next statement, dark colored clothes are preferred during, answer will be winter. Next statement, light color clothes are preferred during, answer will be summer. Now question number five, discuss why wearing more layers of clothing during winter keeps us warmer than wearing just one thick piece of clothing. Answer, the air gets trapped between the clothing layers and prevents heat loss from our body. So multiple layers keep us warmer as compared to a single layer. Now question number six, look at figure, this figure. Mark where the heat is being transferred by conduction, by convection and by radiation. For answer, in this area, heat is transferred by the process of radiation. In this area, it means for a tensile, heat is transferred by the process of conduction. For this area, it means water to water vapor, heat is transferred by the process of convection. Now question number seven. In places of hot climate, it is advised that the outer walls of houses be painted white. Explain. Answer. In places of hot climate, it is advised that the outer walls of houses be painted white because white color does not absorb any heat radiation from the sun, which keeps the inside cool even if there is hot climate outside the house. Now question number eight. One liter of water at 30 degrees Celsius is mixed 
with 1 liter of water at 50 degrees Celsius, the temperature of the mixture will be first option 80 degrees Celsius, second option more than 50 degrees Celsius but less than 80 degrees Celsius, third option 20 degrees Celsius, fourth option between 30 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius, answer will be between 30 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. Now question number 9. An iron ball at 40 degrees Celsius is dropped in a mug containing water at 40 degrees Celsius. The heat will, first option, flow from iron ball to water. Second option, not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball. Third option, flow from water to iron ball. Now fourth option, increase the temperature of both. Answer will be not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball. Now question number 10. A wooden spoon is dipped in a cup of ice cream. Its other end, first option, becomes cold by the process of conduction. Second option, becomes cold by the process of convection. Third option, becomes cold by the process of radiation. Fourth option, does not become cold. Answer will be, does not become cold. Now question number 11. Stainless steel pans are usually provided with copper bottoms. The reasons for this could be that, first option, copper bottom makes the pan more durable. Second option, such pans appear colorful. Third option, copper is a better conductor of heat than the stainless steel. Fourth option, copper is easier to clean than stainless steel. Answer will be, Copper is a better conductor of heat than the stainless steel. That's it.